Oh man, I can't wait to play Beat Saber on my Quest 2 at 120 hertz. Oh yeah, this feels a lot better. Two seconds later. Dang, they weren't lying. This thing does get warm now. A few moments later. Oh my god, I'm so immersed. It's like I'm really here. The Oculus Quest. There is no denying that the Oculus Quest has changed VR as we used to know it. Despite the hate that it gets due to the company who owns it and their rep for not being the most trustworthy, it is still mostly thanks to them that VR is starting to be looked at as a truly sustainable form of media. Gaming, exercise, work, watching movies, exploration, you name it. You think it's something you want to do and you can probably do it in virtual reality. And today we got some insanely exciting news to improve upon the already great Oculus Quest 2. A post was originally shared on Reddit by a user claiming to have talked to Oculus support via live chat about the 120Hz mode and instead received a detailed list of the information about the version 28 update. Now, I was a little skeptical at first, but I kept scrolling through Reddit and looking through different posts and finding other users with the same experience from Oculus support today. Uh, then Oculus just dropped the blog post. So yeah, it's official. First on this list, we have some longtime guardian issues that have finally been fixed. My personal quest too would always forget the boundaries in my room if I fully turned the device off and then tried to turn it back on and I would have to set up my boundaries again. Though I rarely had the guardian jumping around or tracking lost issues, it is great to see they have finally been addressed and fixed for those who did have those issues. Bring your desk into VR. So you're now going to be able to go ahead and place a virtual desk in your Oculus home environment of where your actual desk is in real life so you'll be able to sit down and actually see where your desk is instead of just crashing into your desk while you're in your Oculus home. It's a very cool option to have alongside the virtual couch that they released in the last update. And the virtual desk option will be available on the Oculus Quest 2 and the Oculus Quest 1. Now to the super exciting part, the long-awaited Oculus Air Link. John Carmack did touch on this a little bit during an Oculus keynote back in September of 2020. So AirLink here would be pretty much the same thing as Virtual Desktop. And if you don't know what Virtual Desktop is already, it lets you cast your computer to your virtual reality headset and you can play your PC VR games on your Quest 2 without a wire. I personally think the only difference between this and Virtual Desktop is going to be this has official support and it's going to be free. One downside to the AirLink though is it will only support the Oculus Quest 2 at launch. Whether that means AirLink will be Quest 2 exclusive or they have some more polishing and optimization to do before it works properly on the Oculus Quest 1, uh, nobody really knows for sure. Ooh, and next 120 hertz support. That's insane to go from a headset that was 72 hertz at launch up to 120 hertz. Looking closer at the blog post, I don't see anything about 90 hertz support for AirLink, and it also states that 120 hertz support is coming in the future for the Oculus Link cable that it will not be available at launch. Both AirLink and 120 hertz mode are experimental features, so you will need to opt into that in your settings on your Oculus Quest 2. It will be up to the developers to provide the 120 hertz support and at launch there will be no native Oculus Quest 2 applications that support the 120 hertz mode. And it also states that this feature may affect battery usage, headset temperature, and the visual quality of some system features. And last but not least, the light theme and hand tracking updates. You will now be able to switch it from the dark mode it's at to a light theme for your Oculus dashboard. And just an update to the hand tracking so that when you pinch with your fingers, the cursor no longer moves its position from where it was at. And uh, yeah, that's all we have for the version 28 update changelog. What do you think about these features that are going to be rolling out here? Do you have a gaming PC and have you been waiting to take advantage of this wireless casting to your Oculus Quest 2? Have you been sick of being stuck at 72 hertz and ready to hit that 120 hertz Valve Index God mode? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're a fellow VR content creator, let me know that as well in the comments down below. And I'm going to be picking one lucky person to shout out every time I do one of these news videos for the virtual reality world. Anyways, until next time, guys, remember, never give up. Peace out. Oh, oh, oh. 
oh, 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 and by the way, remember to check me out on Twitch on Monday when, uh, oh, 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 and by the way, remember to check me out on Twitch on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. CST. See you there. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got right, I got heart, I won't die, I'ma fight. I go down, then I strike, I go hard day and night. Yeah.